talk to me. Like I would informally. Ask, informally, I would ask them questions. Like, okay. what do I need to know about the business? How do I get on the box cover? How do I get my name incorporated? How do I make the most money? What things do I not want to do? Who do I not want to work with? So in that two-year span, they gave me mailing addresses of different people, Hustler, um, Metro, Calvis, all the different companies that were producing VHS back then. And I started having photos shot, and VHS. I would mail them right, to the companies. This was before you could Google Anything. Anything. They would give oh, me an address and be like, porn. here, write to this woman. She's Larry Flint's assistant. Send her photos. And so I would write, and they would write me back. Or we would do a long-distance phone call, which back then was like mm-hmm. a calling card. It was like, you know, it was a, it was a whole hassle. Um, and it took me two years. Um, and then finally, through one of the girls that I was interviewing every six months when she came to the club, she introduced me to a guy who helped – the right girls get contracts. I knew by the time I was 20 that I didn't want to get in the business and just shoot scenes. I wanted to be a contract girl because you got a salary. You got, you know, carte blanche at all the events. You got all the best promotional materials for feature dance gigs, posters, merch, t-shirts, what have you. And I knew that my main goal was really to be on the road and seeing the world. It wasn't really just to be shooting scenes. So by being a contract girl, you only shoot one movie a month. So you can shoot those all over the summer and then go out on the road for the rest of the year if you want to. I had this great flexibility. I had this whole concept. So wait, were there celebrities back then at this time in in that industry? Like names that who were the big names when you were the big names when I was first getting in was Savannah. Uh, Diana Loren, Nikki Dial, Raquel Darian, Janine, Julia Ann. There were a lot of beautiful, vivid girls. Everybody remembers the vivid girls. Mm -hmm. Um, Christy Canyon, who I met at 18 and we're still friends today. Um, So many of these women that, like, remembered me knocking on their dressing room door and saying, hey, do you have a couple minutes tonight for me to ask you a couple more questions? And I had this, like, ongoing notebook. 